Imagine a map of the population of Louisiana. Now imagine the theoretical point around which those 4.6 million Louisianians are evenly distributed. That point in geography is called a centroid, and it's quite informative to see how Louisiana's population centroid has shifted over time. So how have Louisianans distributed themselves over the past 300 years? Well, prior to that, the indigenous population was more evenly distributed throughout the region. But starting in the colonial era, overwhelmingly settlement was from the southeastern corner, moving toward the northwest. Exactly where was the theoretical center of population balance? We really can't tell until starting with the 1810 census and the way those data were aggregated makes us look at just at the parish level. My best estimate is that Louisianians at that time were evenly distributed roughly around Laplace here on the St. Charles St. John Parish line. By the mid-1800s, Louisianans are moving up the Red River Valley towards Shreveport and out towards the southwestern prairie, which had the effect of shifting the centroid in those directions, that is to say to the north and to the west, such that by the time of the Civil War is probably around Donaldsonville or Gonzales moving northwestwardly. So this begs the question of where is the population centroid of Louisiana today? So what I did to answer this question was to analyze census data of Louisianians at the block level. Not every single person, because that data is private, uh, but rather aggregated by block. And when you look at it this way, the center of balance is not too far from Tiger Stadium here in Baton Rouge. However, there's another more precise way of measuring the centroid. It's one that only the U.S. Census Bureau itself can do because it requires getting that very personal, individualized information of where Louisianians actually live. So the Census Bureau released its exact point of the true centroid, and it's actually a bit to the northwest of here. Let's go there now. The more precise your population data, the more precisely you could locate where the centroid is. And it's the U.S. Census Bureau that has access to this private information of precisely the homes and locations of 315 million Americans. So back in the year 2000, the Census Bureau teamed up with the National Geodetic Survey and the American Congress of Surveying and Mapping to find the latitude-longitude point in Louisiana around which those 4.4 million Louisianians lived. And so they were able to map out this spot here, marked by this monument. You could just imagine half of the 4.4 million Louisianians at the, in the state at that time lived to the west of this spot and to the east. And if you divide the state north-south from here, half would have lived to the north of it and half to the south. So this is that one point that was the center of balance. You might be wondering, well, what about after Katrina? Where is the centroid today? Our best data for that is the 2010 census. The centroid by that time had moved about a mile in a northwesterly direction from here, still in New Roads. Significance of that is, you may recall that the centroid had been moving in a northwesterly direction of the past 200 years. What's different about this is that shift between 2000 and 2010 wasn't necessarily because more and more folks were moving to places like Alexandria and Shreveport, but rather the impact of the Hurricane Katrina flood on the southeastern quadrant of the state, and particularly Greater New Orleans. The decline of the population there had the statistical effect of shifting the center of balance away toward the northwestern part of the state. 